I'm looking for a new apartment. That always sucks. Um, my big thing is that I can't live next to a 7-Eleven because I can't be trusted. If I live next to a 7-Eleven, I swear to you, I will never go to the grocery store again, ever. I will do all of my shopping at the Sevs, which is actually a lot worse than it sounds because I get into the mindset where I'm like, oh, if it's not a 7-Eleven, I just don't need it. And that's wrong, you guys, that's wrong. My last apartment was walking distance from a 7-Eleven, and for two years, I ate like I was at a refugee camp. I survived on SpaghettiOs, canned green beans, and gum. That was it, it was a disaster. And it wasn't just grocery stores either. I stopped going anywhere, drug stores, the mall. There was a Christmas where everyone in my family got nothing from me but a chocolate rose and a money order. It was sick. It finally stopped when I met my boyfriend and he was like, mm, no, no more Jamie, no more 7-Elevens. I'm going to take you to a place where they have chicken and full-size tubes of toothpaste. It is called a Ralph's. <laughs> and I was like, fine, but this Ralph's better have my sex vitamins or I'm leaving. Because I need my sex vitamins. I need them. Um, I'm a drinker. I'm a wino. I'm a winette because I'm a lady. And it's true. And my cousin just came to town recently and I was like, what would you like to drink when you come to visit? Would you like red wine or white wine? Because I'm going to be drinking tonight and every night until the day that I die. It'd be nice if you joined me. Thank you. And she goes, well, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of this crazy little thing about me, like this cute little thing. But I like red wine in the winter and white wine in the summer. You don't say. You like what and the what and then what? I like wine in my cereal. I will kill you. If you were made of wine, I'd murder you. I'm a secretary. And if that's not demoralizing enough, and it is, it is, it is. Um, I have recently been outed in the office as a one finger typer. And I had to have a meeting with my boss about it. That's true, that's true. Yeah, I type with one finger. And I really have nothing to say for myself other than I never learned how to type because I thought my life would turn out differently. And honestly, if I'm working for you, my typing skills are the least of your problems. I have been slowly Googling myself all day. So whatever. Thank you guys. You guys have been awesome. I'm Jamie Brunton.